analysis. All right. Welcome to the first episode of Secret of Mana. We are the uh, Babbling Beards. I am Josh, and uh, with me is my uh, my bro Noah. He's the other half of uh, Babbling Beards. Today we're going to be playing through. Uh, we're going to start playing through classic Super Nintendo RPG, uh, Secret of Mana. Noah's never played this game before. So. First time ever. So uh, we're going to see how this goes. Uh, he's going to create a character. And, uh, yeah. I've, uh, I've played this game so many times it's not even funny. But um, he'll have fun with it. What are we going to name him? Let's name him Flip. Flip. Two peas? Obviously. I. So this is, you know, it was made in 1993. It's uh, part of the Sekai uh, Seiken Detsu series, I believe is how it's pronounced. The what? I don't know, something Japanese. There's, there's three of them in all, and the third one's a prequel to this one, okay. if I'm not mistaken. But they were, the other two were never released in the U.S. So this is the first one, technically? To us, yeah. To America, it's the first one. Okay. First one only. There's Legend of Mana, there's Sword of Mana, there's Secret of Evermore, but none of them really kind of fall in line with this particular story. Um, of course, you know, it... it it's one of those classic Squaresoft RPG games. It's one of the first action RPGs ever. It's got the elements of RPG, but it's mixed with a kind of like Legend of Zelda type action. So we're gonna do be uh, we're gonna be doing turn based fighting, or is this gonna be rock and sock em? It's rock and sock em, but you gotta kind of plan it out here. So um, that's the start of if you're just a kid. These dudes are douches. Well, yeah, like, what well, guy's wearing a party hat? Obviously, it's nobody's birthday. He just wants to feel self righteous about himself. Remember, Tanner's time is shiny, red phone, you're found. Right? I just, just picture them talking like that. Little dicks. Alright, so they're just like not his friends or what? Well, he's falling now, so I'm assuming no, because they're about to kick him, right? Yep. Kicked him right off the leg. I think he went to help him, and then they're like, oh, fuck, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see him in the water. Ouch! Oh, he's hurt. No way to get back up. I bet we're going to find out what to do. Alright, so down yeah, head down there, get through that little that little river crevice right there. Go through the crevice. Woo! Cut that crevice. And cool. So what you want to do is you want to find a sword. Oh no! Somebody's calling me. What up, Flip? Flip, bro. Let's go over here. There's a sword there. I'm assuming I'm going to get that soon. I've kind of explained the, the controls to Noah before playing it so he doesn't feel like a complete and total jackass. I kind of feel like one anyway. Um, here we go. We're going to... Can't jump down there. No, go, go back up there, bro. Hey, man. More, more people's calling my name. Yeah, you want you want to go back up to uh, where you were at over there? Okay. You want to find that crevice again? Nah, dude. You, well, you, yeah, there's a crevice right up there. Am I using the right word for that? A crevasse? A crevasse. An opening in the waterway. There you go. Alright, so you're gonna grab that sword. Moving the sword. Looking around. Somebody's calling his name. You know, what the fuck, man? Who you at? He's <laughs> like taking huh? a poo in the water. Nah, no poos, man. Light so bright I can't see our ghost. Flip. <laughs> it was I who asked the sword. Huh? Explanation? A question mark? Say what? You mean the sword? You mean this sword? Nah, dude. The other sword that you know that you're not holding. Yeah, the one that made the many of them that you see. Because this happens to be a, a graveyard of swords. And he's just gone, man. I have to get back. 
Bloop, 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 right. bloop, bloop. So now you can use the sword uh, to uh, cut those bushes over there. Cut the bushes. So you'll notice how the whenever you attack, it goes like to 100%. And you want to wait to attack again until it's 100%. So you'll... Good. There you go. Easy slice. Oh, sweet. Pick that up. Oh, wait. Press that with that one. He doesn't try to open it first. He just automatically Smashes assumes it won't it. open. Ah! He's like, you know what? This won't be any use. Let's just smash it. So, like, later on in the game, you'll get, like, weapons that, like, you have range and stuff like that to them. They're uh -huh. not as powerful as your, those, like, your sword and stuff, but... Oh, it got me. Oh, gotcha. But you'll be able to, uh... Get them from further away and charge up stuff. It's a really unique system. If I can ever get a copy of uh, Chrono's, Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo, I would definitely play that one. That's another really good uh, non-Final Fantasy RPG, but it's made by the same people. So. I'm just gonna run circles around you, dude. Catch me. Come here, catch me. There we go. And that's pretty much... How so what exactly it? am I fighting? It looks like a... A house shoe. A uh, I think they're called uh, rabbites. Not rabbis, but like they're like rabbit thingies. They're fluffy little rabbits. Devil goats. <laughs> devil goats. That goat had devil eyes. Anytime a treasure pops up, you might want to like open it because it will go away. Oh, will it? Okay. Well, I don't want that. Yeah. Shake it up. Smash. Hope oh, there's nothing alive in here. Uh, sometimes you get like traps and stuff. So, uh, treasure can do traps? Yeah, like it can poison you. Try to pick that one up. Oh, I didn't mean. Oops. Sorry. That's, your, that that's your menu button there. Uh, hit the A button, I think. There we go. What's this? There's a trap? More candy. So, what's the candy for? Uh, heals you up. Okay. The exact opposite of what our parents told us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. So I'm chopping up little bunnies, little bunny slippers, eating candy. So uh, yeah, this is you know, a pretty solid game. I'm so pretty far. sure this was made by a five-year-old coked up on oh. Mountain Dew. Yeah, I didn't do that. Nah, man, like, they're talented Asian bros. The Asian guy is, like, stumped at his desk. He's like, what can these bad guys be? Rabbits. Wait. What do they look like? Slippers. The purpose of the rabbits is... To introduce you to fighting and learn how to not die. Well, obviously. So they're kind of non lethal objects to attack. I mean, he's a little lethal. He just hit me for four, so. I'm just saying, I got 38 left. Yeah, but you're smacking him with like the intent of like 20 or so. With <laughs> the intent of 20. I intend to hit him with 20. But Whether or not it happens. How much you're hitting him with like 18 times. So you, ah! you should level up. Like the basically by the time you get back to the where you're going, uh, you should be at level two, which you just hit. So that increases your health and restores your life. So anytime you level up, um, obviously you know rules of RPGs, you get more powerful, more right, all that good shit. Later on in the game, you'll get introduced to magic and stuff, but that's not right. Okay, cool. So, would it, with magic, is it uh, sword and magic, or are you just rocking one or the other? It's both. You, 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 magic is really like you're kind of, you kind of have to, you don't have a lot of uh, magic points, so you kind of have to dump, use it, like, only when you need to. Okay. So I'm headed into this house, I'm talking to this lady. What's up, lady? She probably don't care. I'm a random person in your house. Do I know this lady? I can't talk. There we go. Chat my name with that old boy. You hurt someone. See, there's the parent of the game. Alright. Alright. Um, go ahead and go save. So you want to go to the end, which is down at the bottom uh, to your left. Go to the end. And there's a, uh, there's a save that you want to... Let's save over the, the Gary one. Save over Gary? Yeah, hit yes. Definitely. Oh wait, we didn't really want to save. Uh, oh well, we That's didn't want to. We didn't want to stay the night. Hey but. man, he's had a hard time 
Chopping up bunny slippers. He needs a break. Sometimes it's a hard life. But yes. Gonna save. Alright, we're gonna save it for Gary. Sorry, Gary. And then, yes. Alright, we are saved over Gary. Alright. Anything else in here? Nope. Alright, we're gonna rock out. So, we really don't need to do anything else here. So, go up to the elder's house. Elder. That's yeah, not the elder. That's the bar. I mean, you can go talk to Jim if you want to, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, so talk to the elder, and he's gonna scold you. What? You're not hurt? They just told me what happened. So is this like the Gandalf of the game? No, not really. Hmm. I dare you a gunner. There's Elliot and Tim again. Fucking Timothy and Elliot, man. They're douches. You idiot! Why were you telling me not to go there? <laughs> so that, so that, the elder knows that Timothy and Elliot are dicks, but they're still kind of pissed off about uh, him pulling the mana sword. So this mana sword's a pretty big deal, huh? Yeah, bro. If you read the intro, you probably would have uh, realized that. But I was talking, so you can blame me. Well, I figured since it's Secret of Mana, this is a Mana Sword. Mm. Kind of put two and two together. Yeah. Oh, man, you just kicked me. Dude, you chop with your sword, man. Burp, burp, burp. You just gonna run away? Dude, you have a sword. Where are you going? See, that guy kind of looks like a little heifer. We earthquake. He looks like one of the Dursleys. <laughs> Of dual rules. <laughs> oh, there's a hole. That sucks. Check out. Let some... me guess. I'm gonna save that guy. Yep. Yeah. So this so is your first. Monster. This Ooh. is your first uh, boss fight. Okay. Um, you really can't die or anything in this one. Okay. So you can play as shitty as you want. Um, What's he shaking his booty over here? He's twerking. Man, you should be helping. Now nah, you go help you little bitch. Alright, so this, this dude will fuck you up, as you can tell, but you just gotta kinda run in and hit him and then run away. You just whacked him though, so hey, good job whacking him. <laughs> Man, he is. So, can't die, huh? Who's helping me? Uh, he. It's Jim, uh, he popped out right when you fell in, and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll learn more about him momentarily. Oh, unconscious. Get up! Get up, Flip! Got it. There we go. Get, uh, missiles. No Ooh. way to dodge those missiles, huh? Not really, man. Alright. He's chopping me. Got me for nine. I'm going around here. Bam! Oh, we jumped! <laughs> oh, oh, shit! That wasn't even close! The hitbox on this thing's incredible! Dude, uh, dude's got some radius on him, man. Alright. You'll probably die in here in a second. Yeah. Damn. I'm conscious. Why am I even fighting this guy? I'm not prepared. I fought bunny slippers, and now I'm fighting a praying mantis. That's yep. cool. A lot of times whenever I play this game, I'll like just grind on the bunny slippers for a while. Yeah. But for there. the for the purpose of this uh, playthrough, we won't we won't show you grinding. If we just if we hit an area that we really need to grind, we'll. Uh, we won't show that. We'll just kind of pause it. Grind. Oh, there you go. He just killed himself. That's right. He's like, I'm He's so too afraid. I'm done with this. I'm I'm over it. No more. Handle me. So pay attention right here. You're about to get a mantis orb or a mana orb for your sword. Okay. So every time you defeat a boss, you get an orb for a particular weapon. Nice. And it's how you level up your weapons and make some more badass. Okay. So how many do I get one of those after every boss fight? Yeah, every boss fight we'll get we'll get one for a weapon. Okay. So you'll get a spear here soon, and then when we get the next two characters, we'll get two weapons from them too. Appears to be a real man. So this guy has no name. He's just man. He'll tell you his name. Uh, too young. 
He's like, <laughs> it's like, no, nope. I'm done. Out. It's like, it's not, I can't will. It's not you're the chosen one. Just like, ah, it's almost dead, so you take it, kid. I'm good. What should I do? All right, we're, we're going to Sage Luca in Water Palace. Sage Luca. <laughs> They've been protecting these for 200 years. I gotta go listen to this Sage Luca at the Water Palace. And here comes old Timothy. The elder wants me back. Oh, my name's Gemma. I'll wait for you inside the Water Palace. I always picture him having like a, like a British accent. So, uh, go talk to the elder. He's gonna kick you out of town, but you get some free shit from him. Yeah, Why does he kick me out? Let's we'll see. Is it... No relief in sight. Oh, flip. <laughs> oh, flip. The time. Reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. It ain't my fault. The ghost told me, man. How else was he supposed to get over those bushes? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely needed that sword for those bushes. I mean... Or else he'd be stuck. Like, he'd be stuck at the waterfall. If, if it was me, and I found a sword just out in the middle of a little, like, creek, I would take it, too. I don't know, man. After a ghost, ghost told me to, I'd be a little iffy. Nah, dude, I would. But I guess I've played way too many RPGs to... Veer away from an adventure. What's down the stairs? Oh, there's a chest. It's got some monies in it. So GP's money here. That little kid's like, me. That old man's like, he gives you a little backstory. Took you in that race. Ah, They're so he's a dad figure. Do. Please forgive me. There's nothing. You, you're the elder. Of course, there's things you could do, like not kick me out. Your brother brought you to the village when you were just a baby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. Let me guess, this has to do with his mom. You know, I honestly don't remember if his mom put, comes up later in the game or not. I guess we will find out next week on the Babbling Beards. <laughs>